glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. They've completed the walk of champions, and the Crimson Tide is on the field. The elephant became associated with the tide when a fan once said, Hold on, boys. The elephants are coming, and the Crimson Tide is ready to roll at home. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. After Bear Bryant and former Alabama President George Denny, we're in Bryant Denny Stadium, the site for today's great contest. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero, real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Feeling the pressure and he fumbles the football. And they fall on the loose ball. And he's taken down at the 15. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. We got a second and 11. Ball on the 16-yard line. it out to his receiver in a hurry. Touchdown time. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Tigers of Memphis take on the Blazers of UAB in the battle for the bone. And for Memphis, they've lost two in a row. The Blazers grab the win by five. Wow, what an upset. I'm not sure anybody would have predicted that one. Alabama to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Pass complete and taken down immediately. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Hill gets six yards after taking the handoff on the counter play.
It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. He tackles him for a loss. This guy is just an amazing playmaker. I'm sure we'll see him compete on Sunday afternoons. Austin is waiting for the snap. Miller fields it at the 27, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. It looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there, but I don't think he saw the linebacker. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Alabama is up seven. run there and the option to the halfback gets six yards they'll spread the field with five wide Let's go. got a man watch out here and he hits him hard at the 46 yard line it's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wide outs. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. Loss of one there for the halfback. Great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. He's taken down right around the 34. Alabama is up a score. Pitches it. He's got the corner. They'll bring him down right around the 24-yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Zips it to the back. And that sets them up for the first and goal. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive. And you just want to get the ball in his hands. We're at play number nine of this current drive. down at the 11. I'd look for this offense to go back to some more straightforward between the tackles running. They want to win this thing in the trenches. From the 11-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. Nice run, and he's brought down. It's the 11th play of the drive. Zips 
Takes it to his receiver. Touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he adds the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Eagles were ranked 22nd. Now they'll be lucky to hold on to a spot, any spot in the poll. A complete stunner. An upset is now final. The Panthers take it by five. Well, that's an absolutely shocking upset. You can count on that one to turn the polls upside down when they're released. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. And they got him for a loss. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. He scrambled. He's tackled at the 23. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Well, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. He's to the 40. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Alabama's on a roll. They've really been clicking in all phases of this one early. Yeah, when you play a team like this that you know you're physically better than, just leave no doubt. Take control of the game early and try to dominate, and that's what we've seen. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. From the 43-yard line, second down, in the shotgun and five wideouts. He's at the 30, tackle at about the 27-yard line. change ends of the field. I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. 14-0, Crimson Tide. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Just throws this one away. Second and ten. Ball on the 27. And he shoved out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. Third down. down now and they need to get it to the 17. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Let's go. And 
it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That makes it fourth and four. Make the stop at the 12-yard line. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. From the 12-yard line, first down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Got his receiver, touchdown. the PAT. So a seven play, 47 yard drive and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Love to see the goose eggs up there for this defense. And the way their offense is playing, this game is really shaping together for this team. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he's level at the 25. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. pressure and he's sacked this young guy might be feared by more quarterbacks than anyone in the country that's probably because he's the best at what he does in the whole country defense hoping for another sack here on third and long and this crowd is going absolutely crazy Fires it out. And he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. This secondary better tighten it up. They're taking a slow down this drive. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of five on the play. That makes it second and six. Ain't no such thing as a loss. We take the win, homie. Here's the mic. Here's the mic. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Little floor. Quick throw. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Three-yard loss there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Throws a laser across the middle. Down he goes at the 39. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. Larry, Larry. Speed up. And he is drilled at the 38-yard line. That brings up second and nine. From the 38-yard line, second down. It complete over the middle. That's a great tackle at the 28. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He fires right. 
The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 28-yard line, second down. He's in trouble. Fires to the wide out, first down. He's tackled in the open field. Story on the tackle. That makes it first and ten. Ten. First and ten. ten. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. He's scrambling. And he can't get away from the pressure. What a play by the freshman linebacker. There's really nothing he could have done against a rush like that. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. The 10. And he's tackled right around the eight-yard line. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. Quick strike, and he drops it. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. Well, you talk about a solid hit. This guy is a true enforcer. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and it is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know, they practiced all week this week, and they told us yesterday, Brad, that they felt pretty good about what they put in, the plan that they had. And I think now that you see them playing today, it's no wonder they felt so good. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Makes it out to about the 39. First down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Third down and seven to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Pocket holds. Going deep. Lays it out there. He's taken down at about the 21. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Quick throw out to the receiver. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. on the extra point. A 
quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's check in on the SEC where you have to be a burner to be a playmaker. The Tigers have the perfect connection and a touchdown. Deadlock at the moment, tied at 14. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He's scrambling. Slides down. So the quarterback scrambles for about eight yards. Texas State's going to take their first time out of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. the junior brought down around the 48 yard line not a real fancy play here just a smartly run route good protection and a well-placed ball most times you don't need much more than that on the reception look out nobody there there he goes they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line Fires quickly and he's got his man and he tackles him hard at the five yard line. Quick strike to the back and he drops it. It's third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. it in there touchdown a nice play as the offense gets it through the air yeah they've had some success in their short passing game so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10 he splits the uprights with the extra point to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they plan for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. There's a strike complete. He's tackled at the 31. They pick up a good six yards there. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They come out in a five-wide set. Tackle made at about the 49. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Very good tackle in space. They come out in an empty backfield. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle around the 17-yard line. He makes the PAT. A five-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and turn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. Excellent kick. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. On 
I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Well, folks, we've reached halftime, and unfortunately, this thing is looking like a blowout. Alabama's got a huge lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Welcome to the aerial circus. Both teams averaging at least 10 yards per pass. I'm not real good at math. I've been hitting the head a lot, but that's that's a first down and a pass, right? Yes, you're, you're doing fine. A for basic math so far, but an F for these defensive backs. Now, look, everybody wants to be the smooth athlete, the ball hawking guy, but you sometimes you have to go up and knock a guy off his route. Now, I'm not seeing much of that. Am I seeing it wrong? No, it seems like uh, seven on seven. It's a, it's a passing clinic, and, and there is there is a lot to defensive backs and messing up the timing and getting your hands on receivers, and I know there's rules that limit that after five yards, but sometimes you just got to do something a little bit different. How about put some fear in a guy, too? He's going to go over the middle. He's going to make a big catch. How about you rock it? You know, you use that hit stick and truck somebody. Make them think twice about it again, or maybe they'll fumble it. And you know, that's that's what's important about playing defensive back is, is being physical and having receivers know that they're going to be in for a fight all day. And right now, it just seems like guys getting free release, getting open, making big plays, and looks like seven on seven. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Very lopsided first two quarters. We'll hope for better as we head into the third. He's to the 20. And he just got stood up right there. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Alabama looking to put this game away if they score here. He wants it all going long. And he's got it down the sideline. And there's another one. Tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. And he adds the extra point. They're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Pass right, running back's got it. And they make the stop at the 29. Patrick racing down to the 29 yard line. From their own 29 yard line. It's second down. He's got it with room to run. And he's taken down at the 36. Gain of seven yards. First down. the catch and gets out of bounds. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45.
the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Give the mic. They'll spread the field with five wide. And two, three, set. Get to that quickly. And down he goes, right around the 16-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 16. It's another carry. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. the 18 yard line third down under pressure deep pass to the end zone Brad I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions and especially when the defense starts to get pressure you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, and he's tackled around the 18-yard line. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. From their own 21-yard line, second down, Alabama up big. Makes it out to about the 29. Second down, six to go. Ball on their own 33. Here he goes. He makes his way to about the 42. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. Five wide. They'll work the left. They'll drop in for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Alabama looking to add to this big lead here.
sometimes it's not the huge distance but precision that you need from your punter nicely done not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Just gets rid of it. On the throw, incomplete pass. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. This is a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Austin is the punter. Miller fields it at the 39. He makes it out to midfield. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. up to 300 yards passing. This young man really works at it, and it's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. No question that he's the main reason that they're blowing these guys out right now. From the 30-yard line, first down. Alabama with a big advantage. Just throws this one away. out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 18. First and 10. Ball on the 18. receiver and he can't make the grab. From the 15 yard line, it's third down. Quick throw, there's another. Tax on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, keeping an eye on what's going on in Columbia. This one's been entertaining us all day long. The Commodores unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. Missouri in front, 24-21. All right, thanks, Reese. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's coaches just got to be happy. I love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a, a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. On the ground, inside. 
He makes it to the 25-yard line. They don't have enough time to play dink and dunk football like this. They need to move the ball and do it quickly. One quarter to go, and we may be looking at some mop-up duty. Alabama's running away with it. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. Zips it to the back. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 41. By 10. By 10, by 10. Pick it up, guys. Go. Quick strike to the receiver. And they push him out at the 49. That's a game of 10 on the play. First down. Right, right, right. All right, D, let's All right, D. Rifles it left. It falls incomplete. And the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. He's knocked out of bounds at the 42. That makes it third and three. Got a man tackled for a loss. Six yards setback. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Oh, this is an example of this quarterback just really being able to go out and show his competitive spirit. And each time he plays, he puts that out on display. We'll see what else he has in store for this defense as they look to tack on more points. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Alabama looking to build on this commanding lead here. Tackle made around the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line, it's first down. Gets to around the 42. They'll get him for a loss. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block get into the backfield of the offense and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. Second and 13. Ball on their own 39. Tackle at about the 41. Shoved out of bounds at the 39. That's good enough for another Alabama first down. 
from the 39 yard line. First down. Alabama comes to the line holding that commanding lead. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And they make the stop at the 18 yard line. don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have a great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he throws it away. Second down and goal. Seven yards for the touchdown. Gets to about the five-yard line. That makes it third and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Touchdown. We've seen a great performance by this quarterback, breaking the school record for most touchdown passes in a game. He makes the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. We'll keep a close eye on Columbia. We've been watching this thing all day long. The Tigers deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Commodores have the lead by five, getting close to the end of regulation. All right, Reese, back to our game. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Less than three minutes in the game. There's a strike complete. He's down. That brings up second and five. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. Austin to punt. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Alabama's staff and their fans got to be happy this guy's on their side. Well, with him making plays the way he did today, there's reason for their optimism and the reason they feel good about having him on their side. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments 
after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He goes out of bounds at the 31. From the 31-yard line, first down. Just under two minutes in the game. He fights forward to about the 29. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. They come out on an empty backfield. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. receiver and he's taken down right around the 12 yard line give to the tailback and he's met in the backfield Alabama's staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.